here we go again. Just battling this bush to try and get into some good country. It's uh, really quite difficult trying to push through the darn vines and the undergrowth. But it's what we have to do if we're going to go and chase a little bit of gold. So anyway, I've got quite a walk in front of me. So I'll get back to you guys uh, when I get to my destination. So I'll see you then. I haven't made it to my location yet, but I thought I would stop off at just a, an old working that I've done to death over the years. Look, I've had just about every machine I've owned over this uh, particular mullock heap and as you can see the uh, the color of the gravel and the clay looks really good and I just couldn't help myself I had to come in and have another bit of a play so anyway good morning to all of you it's um it's time to get out and uh, get this machine running as you can see I've got the 6000 with the coil tech gold hook 10 by 5 on and uh, the reason I've come back to this spot is that um, it has produced um, a lot of small gold in the past and what I would like to do is make sure that this uh, gold hawk has a chance to run over and uh, pick up any of the scraps that may be left. As you can see, it's quite overgrown in some areas, but um, it is what it is. I'll just have to work around that. Uh, the beauty of this little coil is that I can get in between little shrubs and trees and uh, push into the difficult areas. The, uh, the worst part about it is all of these vines and things that we get caught up in. Have a look at them darn things they trip you up all the time and uh, it's quite frustrating also with the coil but anyway what I'm going to do is have a bit of a look around see if I can find a signal and I'll come back to you if I do well you wouldn't read about it I literally turned the machine on and uh, I started swinging for about a minute or so and I've picked up a very slight target now uh, just to show you guys what I'm in um, I'm in auto plus with threshold on I always operate with threshold on I've found that uh, with threshold off, uh, the small nuggets uh, sometimes just won't be picked up by the machine. And uh, it's really disappointing that they're not. I'm talking about the micro stuff. But anyway, uh, what I'll do is just grab this machine and I'll give you a little bit of a listen. It's uh, not anything of any size, but uh, I'm disappointed that the other machines in the past haven't picked this up. So just have a listen to this. Uh, what I'll do is I'll turn my headphones off and you should be able to hear this uh, quite comfortably. It's actually pretty close to the hole, so I'm going to have to be careful when I dig this out. I don't think it's very deep. Oh, don't roll back in there. Already out. It is small. There we go, we've got it at the bottom of the scoop now. You may have heard a little bit of noise earlier on. Uh, this coil is actually picking up the camera. There we have it. You can hear the, uh, the machine banging off on that. All right, getting close now, so. Okay, it's in my hand and there's not much there. You can just see it, a very, very small little flat piece. Hang on, I'll... Uh, I'll just clean this up and I'll, I'll show you. There you go. All right, I don't feel too bad about it now. I can see why the other machines have missed it. Gee, that's small, isn't it? 
But anyway, that's how good this uh, little gold hawk coil is. It really does sniff them out. Okay, time to move on to the next target. Well, I've moved about three metres and I've picked up another signal. And it's uh, ridiculous, really, because I've been over this pile, um, even with the uh, 6,000 and the standard coil, and, and I couldn't pick up or squeeze out uh, any more nuggets. But uh, this little fella is picking up a good signal. So if I just turn this Bluetooth off, I'll give you a listen. And have a listen to this. Okay, we'll have to dig that one out, won't we? I don't think it's very deep. I might just scrape that down just a little bit further. Okay, it's still in the ground. Let's see if that scrape grabs it. Wow, still there. Let's double check that. No, nope. I must have picked it up with the back of the coil. Let's push those coils back up here. Okay, it's out. Right, oh, still missed it. With this small stuff, it's so easy to lose it. Might have it there. All right, I've got it now. No. And this happens all the time. If you're not careful, you can miss it even in the scoop. Right, I must have thrown it out. This is why I like the uh, flat bottom scoop. You can get the nugget right to the bottom. Not taking chances this time. Whatever it is, is very, very small. We might get it this time. Still can't see anything. All right, it's in my hand and there's not much there. Okay, 
I'll grab this. Let's have a look. I might walk up to the uh, shade so we can see what's going on here. This sunlight's uh, making it difficult. Now, can you spot anything there? It's terrible, isn't it, when it's that small? I reckon it's a piece of gold in there somewhere. Uh, just give me a sec and uh, I'll see if I can find it and clean it up for you. And there it is. So darn small I couldn't even find it. So you guys were looking at what I was looking at. There wasn't much there. Anyway, that's another one for the rattle jar and you can see why a little nugget like that could be easily missed. Okay, I've got another little one up in here that uh, I've missed in the past. So uh, have a listen to this one. Still on the same mullock heap. You definitely can't miss it with this coil. Okay, let's get this one out of the ground as well. Let's see if that's got it. Better try it up this angle as well, I think. Okay, it's still in there, so it's reasonable depth. It's a bit awkward here, it's quite steep. Let's see if I can break that out of the way. Gee, that would be close, I'd say. That's got it. Absolute screamer. Did you hear that? Initially I heard nothing until I shook it down to the bottom of the scoop. Now it's going off. surprise it's in that in that piece there so let's no, it's not in that whoop spoils. Now I'm just going to clean this up first, see if I can see it. Gee, it's small. Let's have a look. All that noise for that tiny little tacker. Well, last time I came out here with the 6000, I actually pulled a piece right, right there. And obviously up here, is a piece that I've missed. How could I miss that? I've no idea. I'm waving the coil about um, oh, two inches. 
um, just above the ground level and I'm still picking it up. Might be a piece of rubbish, but uh, hey, we'll see. Let's see if that's got it out. I don't think it's very deep at all. And I think I can see it. There it is, little flat piece. Well, that's four off this mullock heap and uh, that's uh, four more than I thought I was going to get. So well done to the Coil Tech uh, 10 by five. Okay, time to move down the gully now, I think, and uh, have a look down there. Well, I just moved down to the next mullock heap for a bit of a play. And uh, this particular mullock heap, it's a really big, deep hole. It's never really produced much for me. But uh, you wouldn't read about it underneath the coil there somewhere, just there. I just pulled a tiny little piece. And here's another situation where this coil is really, really good. There's a little burnt off stump up in here. And um, when I poked the coil right up against the black stump, um, it started to send off a bit of a signal. So what I'll do here is uh, I'll just give you a bit of a listen and then I'll dig this one out. I won't do a live dig because I've already started to dig a little bit. So have a listen. Now because this coil is so sensitive out near the tip, um, that was a real advantage in this case. So anyway, I'll dig this one out and I'll show you what I get. Well, there we have it. A nice little chunky piece. Just a fraction bigger than what I had been getting. And let's just have a look at this hole. The sunlight may not show it up overly well, but oh, that came out from almost three inches, I reckon. So that's a nice little find. Anyway, I'll backfill that hole and keep moving. Okay, I've got a little bit of a signal here. This might be the last for today. And uh, uh, I'll give you guys a bit of a listen to it. If I can turn these headphones off. It's just a very, very small signal, so have a bit of a listen. Okay, let's go and dig this one out. There's a bit of uh, mineralization there. I'm hoping it's not that. Well, let's see. Okay, it's out. Not it. Okay, just missing. That's got it. Almost threw that one out. On the scoop. No. Still on the hand. Okay, that's got it. Ah, oh, there it is. 
Isn't that tiny? Anyway, that will uh, just about do me for the day. I've got a nice little collection of small bits just like this, but uh, I'll see you when I get back home and uh, we'll weigh them up. I reckon I might have about 0.2 or 3 of a gram. Whoa! Anyway, I'll see you shortly. Back home again after a good day out. There's my little rattle jar. It doesn't rattle all that much. They are very, very small. Have a look at those. I think I counted 17 all up. So let's see what it weighs. It won't be much, but it all adds up. Let's see if we can get this down here. Empty those bits in. This new Coiltech Goldhawk 10x5 is amazing. I can't believe what this coil is actually picking up. Look at that. That is really, really small. It's sort of like Tipperbara Gold. It's that sort of size. But anyway, let's have a look. 0.68 of a gram. I can live with that. Gee, there's many days I go out with uh, nothing in the rattle jar, so to come home with those small pieces is a real bonus. So anyway, that's about it for today. So until next time, guys, it's cheers for now.